What's up, son? Hi, hi, Molly. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just, I just want, I just wanted to ask you something. Okay, what's up? How, uh, how, how, how are you surviving um, with the, with these health issues? Oh, I'm surviving with my health issues. Yeah. Wow. That's mm, that's a good question that you asked that. Especially in the early morning. Um I'm surviving, but I'm not surviving. Um <laughs> it's a very, you asked a very good question. Um my NMO, which is normalized optica, which affects the um the spinal nerves, um on your you know, your spine and your optical nerves. And my lupus, how I'm surviving is, my lupus is the one that's giving me a hard time. Um, this early this year, I had a lupus attack, and I've been on steroids. Um, this year, a lot of steroids, and um, then I had to do my rituximab, which most people who are on it call it rituxin. And I had to do that as soon as I got off steroid, regular steroids. Um, you know, most people call it um, prednisone. Um, and prednisone is given for, for all different types of um, autoimmune diseases or neuroimmune diseases. It's, it's given to people with TM, transverse myelitis. It's given to people with, um, what else, what other diseases um, you could have. And also, um, steroids um, works for many other things as well. You don't have to just have an autoimmune diseases as well. Um, as for my issues right now, um, recently, you know, I found out from my doctor, I went to yesterday, um, steroids let you gain fluid weight. And my, um, one of my medication, um, gabapentin, <laughs> let you gain fluid weight as well. So all this weight weight gain I have is from my medication, which is a side effect. So all this weight that I'm trying to lose <sighs> is from all this fluid. And you know, um, the f lupus relapse I had earlier this year um, had made me develop neuropathy, which always made me feel like I'm stepping on something. I'm always walking on something. So it, it's a setback for me a little bit. And, you know, I had to do therapy this year, which you know, because you helped me record some of my um, physical therapy. Mm -hmm. You remember how you had to help me do some of my physical therapy? Yeah. So, you know... It, it's it's not good feeling going through something and you saw me this year using my cane and using the water walker mm -hmm. so sometimes it, it, it's a setback and i got one last question huh i said i got one last question <laughs> when, when did when did you start feeling your health when did what when did you start feeling your health when did i start feeling my health uh-huh your health issues Oh boy. Let's go back to when you were born. <laughs> oh boy, you are going to be 11 years old this month, right? Mm -hmm. You have a birthday coming up. Yeah. So let's go back to what year were you born? Let's go. Let me ask you that. 2011. Okay. 
Oh, I knew this was going to come one day. Oh my gosh. And we're doing this on video. You're going to make me cry. Yeah, I knew this was going to come one day. Let's go back to 2011. 2011, October. I gave birth to a baby boy. October 30th. And... One month later, no, let me rewind. October 30th, I gave birth to a wonderful baby boy. And I was 199 pounds. And one month later, I think it was, I went down to... 170 pounds. I went down to 170 pounds and I started to have one bump start coming around my neck. I start popping it. And then one month later, around Christmas, I went down to 150 pounds and I loved this baby boy so much I used to hold you so much I used to, didn't want to let you go I loved you a lot hmm <sighs> We went over family member house and I weighed myself and they took you from me. But because they took you from me because I couldn't hold you long. Um and I weighed myself and I from 150, I went down to 130. New Year's Eve, I was coming down the stairs and I almost passed out. They had to call 911 and I went to the hospital New Year's Eve and I had to be rushed to the hospital. And when they could, I was rushed to the hospital, I stayed in, in the doc. I went to a certain hospital and they were great. I had, by that time, I had a whole bunch of rashes all over my neck, all over my shoulders, everywhere. Cause that, all those rashes came around my neck around December. New Year's Eve, when I was in the hospital, I had to leave this young, handsome, I had to leave you behind. And I, it was only two months, and I had to leave you behind and go to the hospital. You were only two months. And when I went to the hospital, they took tests and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. They took all these tests and everything, and the doctor called when she was in her home. And she said to me, she, she called me in my room, and she's never done that before. And she said to me, I'm gonna make them take a, a gallbladder test. And she did, she made them take a gallbladder test. And they said my gallbladder was almost the size of my stomach. So, they had to do a gallbladder surgery on me, which you know they do st give you steroids, prednisone, all of that, everything. That got rid of the rashes, but they thought maybe that's what was causing this rashes with 
the gallbladder. So it was gone. When I left the hospital, it was gone. By the time I left the hospital, I thought maybe it was time for me to get my eyes checked out. By that time, my arms were starting to get weak. It was starting to get hard for me to hold you. It was starting to really get weak for me to hold you. So I would still hold you, but I started to need help to hold you. My eyes were starting to hurt. My right eye was starting to hurt. My right side of my head was starting to hurt. I went to my optometrist. He checked my eyes. He said, maybe you're getting older. That's why. So he, you know, I did my eyes. I got my glasses. But when I did this, my eyes were still the same. There was no change. And glasses was no longer working for me. And, and that was now 2012. So that was after when everything, everything was starting to get worse in 2012. And then by February, it, it had gotten hard for me to hold you. By February, I couldn't hold you anymore. It had gotten hard for me to hold my new baby that I just had. I couldn't hold you anymore. By February, I couldn't hold you anymore. My arms were too weak. My right eye was starting to hurt and it was starting to get foggy. But now I started to have spasms in February. My arms were starting to get spasms. My legs were starting to get spasms. So every time I was starting to get spasms, I had to stop and just let the spasms go away. Okay. And next thing I knew, the left eye and the left side started to do the same thing. One doctor, my doctor said, okay, I'm gonna send you to the ophthalmologist, to get my eyes checked out. When I got my eyes checked out, he said I passed his test, but not the computer test. So he told me I need to go see a retinal doctor, but, but I have to get a referral. By the time I went back to my doctor to get a referral, to go to a retinal doctor, the retinal doctor said, if you don't go to the hospital right now, you're going to go completely blind or lose your ability to walk. So what I did was I went to the, he said, you have to go straight to the hospital, but I couldn't. I said, I had a newborn baby. I have two kids at home. I can't go straight to the hospital. I was stubborn. So what I did was I went to my aunt house. And I made arrangements for you and Junior and Chandler. I said my kid's name. I made arrangements for my two children so they can, I had to make arrangements for my children so they can have somewhere to go. Okay. So what happened was I rushed to the hospital by the time I got to the hospital, I walked in. But by the time I started seeing the doctors, I could no longer see, I could no longer walk. I checked into the hospital. I couldn't see and I couldn't walk anymore. I had lost my ability to see, I lost my ability to walk. I was in a hospital for two months before I had went to a rehab to learn how to, to get my vision back and to get my, my vision to walk. But when I left the rehab, I still couldn't walk yet. I couldn't even see no one. But the first person before I left the rehab that I could see was you. You was the only person I could see. Sometimes I wish this didn't happen to me and sometimes 
I know God did it for a reason. Next question. That's it for today's video. Okay. Ricky C ready. Then the mystery is she ready, eh? Don't you take my vibes away. Don't you break.